get a lot of three star attacks using it it's going to be a queen walk into mass drag before we get into that I wanted to tell you guys that uh, if you're not following me on twitter at clash underscore with underscore ash I let you guys choose the episode some nights and today you chose town hall 9 drag guide so here it is town hall 9 queen walk dragon strategy guide level requirements queen some people say level 10 I prefer level 15 so I guess 10 or 15 is a minimum level requirement for queen dragon uh you're going to see it works just fine with level 3 dragons. Healers level 3, uh, max being level 4, but you can get by with level 3. And that's about it. You don't need to have max lightning spell, max earthquake spell, max poison. You don't need anything else to be maxed out because uh, you'll see why, you, why we don't in just a second. Your army is going to be 6 dragons, 4 healers. That takes up 176 space. So then you'll have 44 troops to play with in that flex area. We're going to obviously need some funneling troops. So some wizards, some minions, and then some back end troops, some balloons or hogs. Uh, we'll we'll discuss when to use those troops a little bit later on. So your goal is going to be to use your queen via the walk on the opposite side of the enemy queen and she's going to merge into the dragons when her walk is over so we'll illustrate that using the same army composition i'm going to do something a little bit different in today's guide i'm going to show you a really nice raid using this strategy and then we're going to try to duplicate it live against a base that i'm very confident in and that's one thing that we should mention you can use these this strategy against two types of bases one a base where the enemy queen is not right smack dab in the center. So it can be a an anti-3 star base like this in the one we'll be hitting later. Or it can be a trophy base where the queen is off to the side somewhere. So what you want to do is see where the queen is. She's in her little perch over there. This is a popular defensive strategy right now. Putting the king and the queen in their own little compartment. And then putting a lot of high hit point units all around, uh, all around both the heroes in terms of storages. So that's going to be the dragon attack point. So what you want to do is, you want to plan for the following things. Your entry point and make sure your queen goes in the direction you want her to go in. Uh, so uh, M -M -L -M -V -L is going to send his queen almost right to the core here. She's going to start out by going into that gold storage, and then he gets surprised by a Tesla farm. So he's going to take out the first Tesla, then he's going to have to drop a Rage and use it on the second Tesla. Now you have two Rages, you have two Lightnings, you have the Poison and the Earthquake spell. The great thing about this strategy is you don't necessarily need the rages for the dragon. So if you have to burn one or even two rages on your archer queen to keep her alive, by all means do so. You're going to need your archer queen. There are no hogs for the most part unless you're using a couple on the back end. There are no hogs in this army to help with cleanup. You're really counting heavily on the dragons and the queen. So make sure you keep her alive or it's going to be a failed raid. Here we go again. MVL uses his second rage spell. So now he has no more offensive spells other than the lightning, which he's going to use to take down an air defense. So his queen takes down an air defense there. She actually took down two air defenses so far. That's partially why you're going to start her on the opposite side of the base. And then you're going to use your lightning and earthquake spells to take out the far side air defense. If there's an air defense close to the queen, uh, her, her in her compartment, like you can see there in the east, you can leave that one because we're going to be using a Lava Hound in the Clan Castle. So, max Lava Hound in the Clan Castle, you drop your Dragons, you drop your Lava Hound, the Lava Hound's going to soak up the attention of both, both the Queen and the air defense, and uh, trigger those air mines, air bombs. So the dragons are going to kind of do their thing. So MVL has uh, level 4 dragons. I only have level 3, so we'll hope that mine uh, do a good job on my live raid after this. I've stocked out the base, I've scouted it, I've came up with a plan, and I'll share that with you before we go in and uh, you guys can join me. So I'm very confident in the in the battle plan. After watching this attack by MVL, it just works so, so smooth. You're dropping in the balloons here. The balloons are kind of going to skirt around the edges of the base, providing a little bit of cover for those wizards. And you can see the heroes are still both alive. Just pop the uh, the king's iron fist ability, get access to the center of the base. Your heroes at full health are going to do a lot of the cleanup along with obviously all the dragons. There's no air defenses, and you guys know this from your Town Hall 8 days, that if you can take out all the air defenses on a base, 
it is perfectly viable to go ahead and be dragged. So that is the goal here. That's the goal. With the queen walk, you want to take down two air defenses. Then you want to take out a third air defense with the lightnings. Then the fourth air defense will be distracted by your lava hound. That's the game plan. So you can even do this against those crappy trophy bases that don't have a good anti-3 design. But here's the base that we're going to be attacking here, guys. So it's a really wide spread out base. And the queen, again, is up in the top with the king. Uh, protected by those high hit point storage units outside. You can barely see them up in the north. And I'm going to start, if you'll draw your attention to the uh, southwest around 7 o'clock or so, you can see that big purple X. That's going to be where I put some minions down to make sure my queen moves in the right direction. I think she's going to go uh, counterclockwise, as you can see with the arrow, but I'm not 100% sure. That's why I'm placing the minions first. Then the, qu the queen is going to get to where the K is, where the king is going to go. I'm going to use some wall breakers just in case to I need to access that air defense because I want that air defense down. Down, that other that second air defense and then hopefully the troops will go ahead and migrate around to the dragons and they'll be coming in in the north all those red lines that will be my six dragons and if I have a rage spell left I'll go ahead and use it on the dragons if I don't I'll just let the dragons do their thing and hope for the best so that's the game plan let's see if I can execute now so I'll be back in just a second All right, guys, so I am back. We're here live. You can see Yogi got 99% against this base. I believe he tried to go-ho it. We're going to try to get that third star. Uh, there is a dragon in the clan castle. I scouted the uh, the replay. So my attack, my army's ready to go. Really hope I don't mess this up, or I'll have to try to find a second video for this guide. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what I can do here. So we're going to start with the minions, because they're out of shot of any archer tower or anything. So this is like kind of an easy snipe right here. It was pretty obvious. that. And then I'm just going to wait just one second, and then put my queen down. So the queen is down, and hopefully uh, she'll move right. If she does not move to the east, then hopefully the minions will be able to cut off enough of the units over there to prevent her from moving the other way, and then she'll redirect. But it looks pretty good. So she's going to go after the mortar, and she's going to go after the, okay, the gold mine. Okay, perfect. So if you want to know which direction your queen's going to go, I guess this is a good time as any live during a raid to promote another video. I did put a queen directional video out, a uh, guide. And I find that really helpful. I actually go back to that and watch myself just so I can help gauge which direction she'll move in. We talk about spacing and uh, all kinds of other uh, aspects of the Queen AI. So I'm just getting ready right now to put my King down and my Wall Breakers. Again, the reason I'm putting the Wall Breakers is because I want my Queen to go inside that this compartment over here to get that air defense down. So here's my Wall Breakers. And the reason I didn't uh, I didn't know if there was a trap there or not, but I figured even if they failed the wall breakers, it wasn't the end of the world. I think with that, you know, uh, rushed air defense, it wasn't going to be a big deal. Let me drop my uh, dragons now because I want them to merge. So I'm dropping all the dragons. The queen is getting that air defense. Perfect. That's why I made the hole in the wall there. Wasn't sure if it was going to work, but I did. Oh, I forgot to zap this other... <laughs> this other air defense. So I'm zapping the other air defense. I'm going to use my uh, my rage spell. Notice how I didn't have to use a rage spell at all on the queen because that's, that bottom half was so light. I'm going to use the the barbarian's uh, iron fist ability. going to drop the poison there. going to drop the uh, rage spell right about now. And now we're looking pretty good. See how effective this is, guys? All my dragons are alive. My heroes are at uh, full health. Well, the healers have switched over to my king. My queen's ability has not been used yet. I have some back-end balloons, so here's why I brought the balloons. Just in case, see that cannon over there? I don't want that to cause problems for my uh, my king or my queen. And as soon as that other archer tower locks onto a dragon, I'm going to go ahead and do the same with him on the uh, that other balloon. So see how those two balloons... Eh, forget it. <laughs> the balloon got zapped, but it doesn't matter. Okay, it looks like that was a pretty easy three-star. Granted, the base was a little bit rushed defensively. Or I shouldn't say rushed, just upgrading. So it wasn't the most difficult base to hit, but you can just see my queen full health didn't even need to use the ability. And uh, all my troops, all my dragons left standing. I think only one died there. So, wow, it went really well. It's a really effective strategy. So, guys, I'm interested to hear if you use this strategy. I've seen it done, you know, for, for months now. 
now, but I have not brought you guide, guys a more in-depth guide for it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and go ahead and comment below if you'd like to see any more type of guides. I'm in a guide kind of mood lately, so guys, don't be bashful. Comment below, and thanks so much for watching. Good luck, and take care, guys. Hey guys, before I let you go, be sure to subscribe and check out my other channel. It is Three Star Vault Clash of Clans, an aggregation of three star attacks sorted by town hall level and strategy. Thanks for watching, and as always, take care, guys.